Yay, 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 yay. So I had to share this video because it's been a long time since I started this process of taking out my micro locks. I started August 7, 2018, taking them out. And on yesterday, which was January 24th, I finished. When I started, I never thought it was going to take me five and a half months. I calculated it. It was literally 170 days and I had about 400 locks. So just about every single day I was spending my evenings, two to three hours on the weekends, every night taking out these locks. And when I say it was a process, it was a journey. There were moments when I wanted to scream and just say, screw it, let's cut it all out. And then I came back to my senses and I said, no, let's just keep going because it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it in the end. And I finally got to the end. And right now all of my hair is out and I'll show you what it looks like down. It's right now it's um, in twist because I went through and I cut out those little fairy knots, split ends, literally section by section rather than just chopping straight through. I figured that go around. I could then see what it's really like after I do myself a mask treatment and do some other stuff to get my hair kind of in the state because it hasn't really been loose like this in three years. So I'm excited and I just want to say that this has been a learning experience as well. And just a reminder that sometimes we start on a journey that we think is going to go seamlessly. It's going to be easy. We'll get to the end, no problem. And then we find it's not at all what we expected. And we are stumbling and tripping and having to pull forth all the grit we have just to reach our goal. Sometimes we want to give up and then we have to be reminded what our goal is and why we're doing this. I wanted a healthy head of hair and I wanted to retain my length. Cutting off everything that wasn't new growth would not give me that. And so you have to say, what is the goal you want? And so even when you get to those obstacles and you want to give up, you go back to what is it that you're trying to accomplish? You keep that in mind and you get out that tenacity, that grit, that perseverance, and you keep doing it day by day. I had to keep doing this day by day. Even when I didn't feel like it, I would take out one at least. I would just keep making progress. Even when my husband was like, I miss you because I'm not in the bed like watching TV with him. Sometimes I'm on the side with my mirror and my little needle which looked like this. Yeah, you know what that is. So I would use this needle, literally picking out. And sometimes it took, in the, in the back in the beginning where they were, you know, maybe this long, it was like 35 minutes and it was 45 minutes. And last week I had a point, or a week before last, I had a point where I was literally screaming because it took me about an hour, 15 minutes, hour, 30 minutes to take out one. And I thought I was going to just literally pull it out and just say, just chop off the rest. And I was like, no, <laughs> no, calm down, get a grip. So anyways, I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's uh, in a little bun in the back. And I've uh, had locks in for three, October of 2015 is when I put them in. Um, I installed pretty much myself about 400 locks, braid by braid, and I finished three weeks later. So I started mid-October, finished the first week of November. So this is just the, the, uh, the twists. And you can kind of see, right, I did press it so that I could trim it. I used a flat iron on it. It's kind of hard to see the, uh, the length, but I've got, Pretty good length, kind of happy about that. And I'm not gonna undo all my twists now because I plan on undoing it. For my celebration, I'm literally going out to celebrate my hair being done. So tonight I'm gonna undo my twist, make it all big and pretty, but I'm really, um, I'm really pleased. I'm glad that I didn't cut this out. I'm glad that I let myself be patient with myself and realize that 
there was no need to cut out basically what was four years of growth because I wanted to save myself a month or two. You think about it like that and you realize, yeah, be patient with yourself. Don't rush the process. That's for anything in life. Don't rush the process. Be patient with yourself. That's it. And if you want to know how I did it, this was key. Comb. My little comb here, which was, it has been through it. You see that? It has been through it. And then I actually used um, this. Which got this one from Angie Beauty. This was my moisturizer. I use this everywhere. All over my body and my hair. And a flat iron. So at first I tried the conditioner. And it was just so slippery. I couldn't grip it. So it was like, yeah, my fingers were just so wet. And then I couldn't get it to stay without basically the needle falling up my fingers. And they were so little, I couldn't get my fingers in it, especially to start it. Now, at the end, I could use my fingers to unloose and, and detangle. But it was a process. It was a process. I will never do it again. So, you know, one time thing. Getting micro locks and deciding to take them out. Yeah. Yeah, not again. Anyways, that's it. I'm loving my hair. I'm really happy. Okay.